Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we have right here the brand new Renault Captur. This is the E-Tech engineered version full hybrid and in this video we will do the test drive and I will give you all the feedback on how it's on the road. If you want to see the full review interior exterior all the technical data and more information about the car check out the full review video I will have a separate video on my channel. The car is just wonderful. I think it's the most beautiful Captur that I ever seen in this configuration. This E-Tech engineered version look phenomenal with this kind of goldish color insertion around here on the downskirt, on the back bumper. Uh, also those elements in glossy piano black and those beautiful rims, 18 inch rims look phenomenal with this gold entry element here brake discs on the rear ventilated brake discs on the front this is the key a white white snow flag <laughs> really cool key and keyless entrance of course beautiful seats uh, those seats are also special uh, for this model aluminum pedals another great plus and a beautiful steering wheel now this is the place for the key, I will put the seat belt. The steering wheel is it's just phenomenal, I love the steering wheel. The grip, the quality of the steering wheel, it's heated steering wheel, of course it's an optional, you have to pay extra, but the starting price for this Captur E-Tech engineered version is 29,300 euro and then you add extra and, and optional for example the panoramic glass roof 600 you pay for the heated seats heated steering wheel autopilot that we will test in this video so you can make an idea about how it is I just definitely love the steering wheel the steering wheel feel it's like you're driving a very expensive car you know Audi have kind of the same quality on the cars over 100,000 euro. Anyway, before we start driving, I want to give you some information and technical data about the car. So the version, as I said, is the full hybrid version. It comes with a 1.6 liter petrol engine, four cylinders in line combined with two electric motors. One is like a starter, a very small one that helped to start the car and stuff like that, like a generator. And the other one is the main electric motor that drive also the front wheel of the car. It's a front wheel drive system. And also all those motors are connected to a six-speed automatic transmission multi-mode it's a four plus two transmission four gears for petrol engine and two gears for electric motor the total power of the car 143 horsepower 144 newton meters the top speed of the car 170 km per hour 0 to 110.6 seconds the battery capacity 1.26 kilowatt hour it's a lithium battery the power of the electric motor in the front is 49 horsepower and the internal combustion engine 91 horsepower the fuel tank capacity 48 liters turning circle 11.1 meter it comes with independent McPherson on the front end torsion bars on the rear ventilated brake discs on the front ventilated brake discs on the rear plus the 18 inch rims those are the most important technical data as we drive I will give you more data and information press the start button it's right here press the brake and now it says ready EV also I want to show you something we will drive with the climatic system on 22 degrees manual on level one and let me reset the consumption now you can see we start with almost a full battery the 1.2 kilowatt hour battery is almost full here is the electric motor integrated in the transmission and then we have in the front the petrol engine that's running right now now I want to reset the consumption so we will see in the end what consumption we can get you can see right there in the middle it's great that you can customize this digital screen it's really cool you can customize it in many ways you can see even the navigation right there in the front it's a cool car I really really enjoy driving it and I drive it for two days now and I, I start to like it more and more and I'm I have to say that it's a very very good car it's a well-built car uh, with a I should say right price correct price uh, for what it offers it's it's really a great great deal so definitely I definitely recommend you to check it out if you press here you can go also in echo mode sport mode or my sense you can choose from three different driving modes my sense you can also customize how strong to be the steering wheel comfort regular or sport so that's great and also the lights and uh, design other than that doesn't affect the driving feeling we will drive in echo mode 
and then in sport mode and we will try all these uh, driving modes anyway electronic handbrake it comes with auto hold you have this armrest and this beautiful 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 Iceland center console with this stalk I really like the stalk I'm not a big fan of those stalks in the middle but this one it's quite fancy it says e-tech you have the parking and then you go in drive and it has two driving modes D from driving normal driving and then when you put it in B mode you just go one time down and then you go in B mode that means when you release the acceleration the car will regenerate the energy let me show you so I will put it also this graphic so you can see the graphic it looks cool so for example I accelerate it's in B mode and then when you release the acceleration like right now it's acting out look like a brake so we'll recuperate the energy back into the battery the same as electric cars and it's pretty powerful for a full hybrid to be honest it's almost closer to a proper electric car so I like that very much in the city it's super useful and the car it's great that in the end it will show you also how much energy you had recuperated so pretty cool stuff uh, the car come with some some great features and I definitely definitely enjoy driving it also what I notice is that the climatic system and the heating system work very well um, also the heated steering wheel it's everywhere heated even on the upper side even downside so it's not like in other cars only this area it's everywhere uh, plus the the heated seats you have two position for heated seats and also the climatic system this one it's so easy to control uh, to turn on turn off it's perfect like that because when you run when you drive you don't want to lose too much time with the climatic system you want to do everything fast so practicality should be a priority for all the cars manufacturers even the premium one uh, because if you put everything in the touch it will be so complicated no it has to be something small and fast to to adjust and this one here it's it's super cool uh, this is the way to go for the climatic system and all those controllers for heated seats heated steering wheel uh, defrosting and all that stuff should be so easy like like this one now guys what I like very much about the car, it's kind of the same system if you saw the videos with the brand new Renault Clio that I have it probably already on the channel, uh, you will notice that it's kind of, it's basically the same hybrid system. Uh, it's a very, very good system. Renault use it, this multi-mode transmission plus this full hybrid. Uh, they use it also on other cars, other versions. And I have to tell you that it's a really good one I drive it on many models until now and I have to say that I never never had problem always was quite smooth and I like that you basically don't feel the difference when the car is driving in electric mode or when it's switching to petrol mode uh, because it's it's really smooth the pedals feel fine uh, also visibility around the car it's it's quite good maybe here because it's split in two um, but nothing nothing to bother you too much it's it's relatively fine you see right now you barely barely see, you can see the graphic here what happened with energy in real time and the car is switching itself between electric motor and petrol and it's playing with the uh, energy there so you can get the best efficiency and the best performance for the car and I, I definitely like the way it feels everything it's smooth and nice and the transition between them it's great sometimes sometimes because the petrol engine has only four gears you can hear the revs you can hear sometimes at some point it stays with the revs uh, higher and you can hear that but uh, yeah it's, it's just basically like a normal petrol engine and then it's just switch and you you hear anything now the great part is that on this model that I have right here I can activate the cruise control and lane assist and basically you can activate it from here lane keeping lane, lane centering activated they call it lane centering and right now in this moment the car will keep the speed keep between the lanes and this feature it's super super useful in traffic on the highway in those kind of situations you can see right now i don't press any pedal and the car it stays between those lanes and it warns you from time to time to keep your hand on the steering wheel 
I can go even faster if I want, you can go faster from here, you can choose the speed from here and the car will basically accelerate, brake, uh, depend what the car in front will do if you set the speed and no car in front will keep that speed, will keep between the lanes but, but always have your hands on the steering wheel for safety uh, reasons no matter what car you're driving, Tesla or Mercedes or Renault keep your hands on the steering wheel for the safety nets because this is not a safe uh, thing it's great to have it you see how good it's basically stay pretty good between the lanes it warn you from time to time but for the safety uh, keep because you never know what comes on the road you never know what happened so it's basically better to have your hands on the steering wheel this is just a safety feature a cool feature that Renault bring it to their cars so from my point of view it's it's pretty good visibility in the mirrors it's also great I love this mirror here in the center it's pretty big and I have good visibility uh, in the back there also good visibility on the mirrors on the side you can see the blind spot technology right there in the corner it's turning on you can see right now the car basically it's braking because the car in front is driving slowly and it's still keep between the lanes so this is a great feature that you have to pay extra for it so that's something to keep in mind so even though if the car price start at around 29,300 euro the price for this car with all the options should go to 25,000 around there depending on which country you are on the dealer on many factors so you have to check yourself in your country but in general it's around that price love it i mean i mean i really love everything the, the visibility through the steering wheel here it's great because you have a big opening um, it feels nice also on the highway feel great let me take the control of the car 143 horsepower i feel like the car have enough power we can switch now to sport mode to see also what will be the and the accelerator how will be the acceleration but i tell you guys i drive the car before in this system and these 143 horsepower are more more than enough for daily use and this is where this b mode it's come in handy right now when we go downhill because now the car will recuperate the energy back into the battery and you can see it's basically brake itself i don't have to use the pedals and this is great also for the brake uh the brake discs and brake calipers because you can hold it for longer you don't have to change it at change it at all as often as you change it on a proper a diesel or petrol car so this is basically super super useful stuff and right now we have 6.7 liter consumption until now and the battery is still full i released the acceleration pedal and right now the car recuperate the energy you can anticipate the traffic and if you anticipate the traffic right you can get super good consumptions and this full hybrid system from renault from my test and from what i drive with it uh, had really good consumptions uh, from my test so i I just noticed that it's probably one of the most economical hybrid full hybrid system that you can get also it stays in curves pretty fun right right now the steering wheel it's a little bit stiffer in sport mode so the steering has kind of three levels like easy normal and super sporty oh wow <laughs> I like it accelerate nice the acceleration is great the pedals are great and I like the fact that the sound insulation between the engine and the cabin it's it's good man and also from outside you don't hear too much noise man I think it's a good price for the car it's kind of the the middle it's, it's just the middle way man I mean it's right above the for example it's Dacia with their model that it's super affordable and good cars and then it comes this one the second level where you get some uh, great quality and what you see so, so how easy we get to 120 no problem it has a lot of power even on the uphill it feels light it feels nice the car So we can keep a little bit of high speed man it's so warm inside i put it on 22 degrees on manual 
and it's very warm inside the car it's basically perfect temperature and outside are minus one degrees plus the wind it's probably felt even worse but you can see on the highway it stays pretty well 130 cruising speed no problem you start to hear a little bit of wind right now and let me set the uh, autopilot here you hear a little bit of wind noise a little bit of road noise the engine so so but it's quite good I mean for 133 km per hour it's super good and the car it stays good not too many vibrations good comfort on the seats so nothing to complain from my point of view yes it's surprisingly good you know I should say I don't know if, if I make like an average I, I definitely think that this car have a lot of premium features premium things let me go out here and right now the B mode comes in handy because we have to go out of the highway and I don't use the brake I use just one pedal so most of the time with this car if you anticipate well you can drive one pedal driving without any problem so right now basically I'm just using the acceleration pedal I don't use the brake pedal in this moment so it's so so useful look at this and we recuperate back the energy into the battery the consumption it's 7.2 liter it's a little bit higher it's normal for those speeds and super cold outside but yeah now I use the brake a little bit because I should anticipate a little bit more before but now we go in the city and even in the city you can see right now the acceleration it's so 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 uh, the difference between eco mode and sport mode it's quite quite uh, big because if you press the acceleration you feel how the car it's push you back a little bit so it's much more responsive and agile oh nice 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 So you see front wheel drive a little bit of spinning when you try to start a little bit um, harder but it's normal anyway it's icy on the road today but I basically drive these days um, on the on the snowy road icy road bad conditions and to be honest it's a front wheel drive of course but it's, it's doing a great job over those uh, situations so I didn't expect it's, it it has a good grip it stays good no problem even in the winter time now when it comes to suspensions I wish to be a little bit smoother because I don't know it's it's kind of a crossover SUV you want to have a little bit more comfort but yeah let me go back to eco mode but it's basically the same suspension actually it's nothing changed there but um, the thing is that I wish I wish to have a little bit uh, better suspension over the bumps they are not bad I should say from 1 to 10 7 but I wish to be better suspension that's something that I wish to be to have better over big bumps you see those roads are not good so you feel it when there are small small bumps then it's fine if you drive in Germany uh, Switzerland or Austria or all these countries that have very good roads then will be no problem you never feel that but if you drive in South Europe or I don't know in some countries with a lot of bumps and holes then you will feel a little bit but they are they are fine overall they are fine but it's something that I wish to be different uh, accepting that uh, I don't have anything to say about the car basically it's 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 really perfect the way it is the setup the speed the comfort The easiness of driving it feels light so you can see right now the steering it's super light in eco mode the consumption is going lower a little bit right now
and after this video i will do also another one with the consumption test so we will drive only in eco mode normal driving like you're going to work and then we will see what kind of consumption we can get so if you want to see that video check out on the channel because it's probably already there roundabout no problem 11.1 .1 meter turning circle but it feels very very light to drive the car very good visibility because you are a little bit higher on the road uh, you can adjust the seats even though it's manual adjustment you can adjust it how you want and you have a little bit of taller driving position so that allow you to have a perfect perfect visibility It's just, it's just perfect, uh, the perfect car for a city and highway. I, I should say the size of the car, the height of the car, and it's, it's, it's a pretty good car. Here it's a little bit of traffic, it's good for the consumption uh, because we can see basically what will be the real consumption with a little bit of highway, fast, a little bit of fast driving in the city traffic. It's just perfectly, perfectly perfect combination between those. 6.6 liter consumption until now. So if you want to see also the full review, I have a separate video on my channel where you can see the where you can see the the, pre, the review and the interior exterior technical data all those uh, safety features you can basically find it there so check out the other video on the channel guys It's a very, very interesting car. Minus two degrees outside, I told you. It's even colder. It's quite cold weather, but inside it's so warm. It's just 22 degrees, first level. is the way you should leave it in the winter. Because with time, the car will get warmer and warmer. So it's perfect. I don't even need the, the heating seat, the heating steering wheel. Um, this heating system works super, super good and it's so easy to adjust it's i think it's one of my favorite this one one of my favorite climatic system out there sound insulation pretty good i should say 7.5 around there 7.58 it's quite good visibility it's also 7.58 Overall, it's it's a good car. I don't have too many things to complain, and also some some things here in the car are very very good quality, are premium quality. When you can see the rival in the front there, the Toyota CHR, but guys. If we compare this Renault Captur with Toyota CHR, by the way, I have a few videos on my channel with Toyota CHR if you want to see it as well. I have to tell you something. The thing is like that. This Toyota CHR, it's much more expensive than this Renault Captur. For example, the the basic starting price of this Renault Captur is 19,200 euro, the starting price. Where there on CHR, the, the starting price it's basically around 29,000 or something like that. Anyway, it's much more expensive, seven, 8,000 more uh, from the starting price. So it's basically other car with other expectations. So yeah, but, but, but the difference is not that huge and you, you don't even feel it when you're driving. So I don't know if you have the money, of course, but uh, if you want um, the best, for your buck the best thing for your money if you want to be efficient I think Renault Captur it's, it's fine as well 
you want to save some money as well over the price of the car you can do that another cool thing I didn't show you I want to show you now is the fact that you can see even the navigation on the screen in the front there but you have to change the driving mode so I have to go in my mode in my sense and when you go in my sense you can see the navigation right there in front of your uh, face on the screen there the digital and it looks great once you set up the navigation by the way I didn't show you once you set up the navigation you can see here on the screen you can see it also there 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 are so many cool features in this car that I like it very much the the multimedia it's placed very nice tilted to the driver good visibility I don't have things to complain about the car I basically like it a lot we will see in the end also what will be the consumption so until now it's 6.5 liter so basically probably will stay around six uh, but we will do another test in eco mode and we will drive normal like you will go to work without too many accelerations but still we will go on the highway and we we mix the driving you can see here in the city it's so easy to maneuver and it's so light because the steering wheel it's turned to be lighter you see over those big speed bumps you feel a little bit the suspension so I wish they fix it in, on the next capture because I know this capture the new capture will come this year or next year at the end of this year or next year and I hope if they hear me now to improve a little bit the suspension to make it a little bit softer because most of the people that buy this car they will basically want a softer suspension and better comfort um, although it's fine like that I didn't drive it on twisty road on the mountains I think it's it's much better like that it's much funner because it doesn't the car doesn't feel like you see it doesn't feel like a boat and this is a good thing this is good it doesn't feel like a boat uh, it's good setup also to have some sporty driving so from this point of view it's pretty pretty nice yeah overall super fine going reverse you have a reverse camera a simple reverse camera so no 360 degrees camera but you have those lane active um, here that help you park the car and then you just put it in park and that was the trip pretty nice pleasant simple and the consumption was 6.3 but you can go even deeper with the consumption and information if you go to energy list here you can see right here on the screen you can see how much energy you recuperate during the brake or during the deceleration and then the every speed you can see the distance that we drive the consumption on electric mode and the consumption on petrol and then uh, the distance travel only in electric mode how cool are those features anyway lovely car guys I really really enjoy driving this Renault Captur I think it's a great well-built car and all the cars manufacturers these days they are so close and they come better and better and better and you cannot say it's a bad car to any car because every car these days uh, start to be better and better and Renault group are one of my favorite and i think they make just lovely cars and uh, the price still still competitive and still very good price for those stuff anyway guys thank you for watching don't forget to check out the other video the consumption test check out the review video and if you have question i wait your question down below i will try to answer to all of you because i have so many comments i do my best probably i will do a live in the future where i answer your question again thank you very much to all all of you i really appreciate that and uh, that you're watching my video and you're here if you like it if you find some useful information here don't forget to like share subscribe that will help me a lot so thank you very much to all of you guys stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys